Catching blue crabs on the east coast of the United States is a popular and enjoyable activity, especially in states like Maryland, Virginia, and North Carolina. Here are some common methods. Preparing the trap. Use a block-shaped trap designed to allow crabs to crawl in but not escape. These traps are usually made of metal or plastic mesh. Bait. Place bait in the trap, usually fresh fish, chicken, or fish offal. The smell from the bait will attract the crabs. Drop the trap. Drop the trap into shallow water near the shore, usually in brackish water or river mouths. You should drop the trap at high tide so that the crabs can easily enter the trap. Check the trap. After a few hours or overnight, you can check and harvest the crabs from the trap. Tools. You will need a long piece of string with bait tied to the end, usually fish or chicken. Drop the line, drop the line into the water and wait for the crabs to bite the bait. Crab collection, when the line feels heavy, slowly pull the line up and catch the crab while it is still attached to the bait. Find the location, walk along the shore or in shallow water where crabs are common, especially at night when crabs are more active. Catch the crabs, use a net to gently drag the water to catch crabs as they move or hide in the sand. Prepare the net, use a long net with two people to slowly drag the net along the shore. Pull the net, drag the net to shore, then check the net for trapped crabs. Find the crabs, you can wade into shallow water and look for crabs on the seafloor or under rocks. Catch the crabs, use your hands or a small net to catch crabs when you see them. Be careful with the crabs claws, as they can pinch painfully. when blue crabs are most commonly caught in the summer and early fall when they are most active licenses some states require a license to catch crabs especially when using traps size regulations make sure you follow the regulations on the size of crabs allowed to be caught to protect aquatic resources catching blue crabs is a fun recreational activity and can make for a delicious meal if you know how to prepare and cook them Prepare a cast net. A cast net is a long piece of rope with many baits tied along it, usually chicken necks or small fish. Each end of this rope can be tied to a buoy or anchor. Cast net. You cast the cast net into shallow water or brackish water. One end of the rope is usually tied to the shore or boat, the other end is pulled taut and dropped into the water. Pull the net. After leaving the net in the water for a while, you slowly pull the cast net up and use a net to catch the crabs clinging to the bait when they float to the surface. Prepare a fishing rod. A crab fishing rod is quite similar to a fishing rod but usually has a thinner rope and is tied with fresh bait such as fish, chicken, or shrimp. Crab fishing. You cast the bait into the water and wait for the crabs to bite.
Can you feel a pull? Slowly pull the rod up. Catching crabs. Use a net to scoop up the crabs while they are still attached to the bait. This method requires patience and skill. Timing. Blue crabs are most active in the early morning or evening, when the water temperature is lower. Tide. Catching crabs during rising tide or high tide is often the best because the crabs move more to find food. Safety. Be careful when catching crabs, especially the larger ones. They have very strong claws and can pinch painfully if not handled properly. Use protective gloves to avoid injury. Storage. After catching, you can keep the live crabs in a bucket of salt water or ice to keep them fresh. Avoid letting the crabs die before cooking because the crab meat will spoil quickly. Preparation. Blue crabs can be steamed, boiled, or grilled. Steaming the crabs with a little seasoning such as salt, pepper, and red pepper will keep the crabs fresh flavor. Blue crabs are also commonly prepared in dishes such as crab soup, tamarind crab, or grilled crab with scallion oil. Local regulations. Each state has its own regulations regarding the collection of blue crabs, including quantity, minimum size, and season. Make sure you understand and follow these regulations to protect the fishery. Conservation. Blue crab fishing is not only a recreational activity but also contributes to the sustainable development of seafood resources. Avoid catching small crabs or crabs that are carrying eggs to ensure the future of blue crabs. Chesapeake Bay, Maryland. This is the most famous place to catch blue crabs in the US, with many options from chartering a crabbing boat to crabbing along the coast. Outer Banks, North Carolina. This area is also a popular destination for crabbing, with many brackish waters suitable for blue crabs. Virginia Beach, Virginia. This is another location with a lot of blue crabs, especially in the shallow waters near the shore. Blue crab fishing on the east coast of the United States is not only fun, but also a chance to experience local culture and enjoy fresh seafood. Brackish water, blue crabs are often found in brackish water, where salt water and fresh water mix. Estuaries, coastal marshes, and brackish bays are good places to find crabs. Sandbanks and reefs, blue crabs like to hide in sand or reefs, especially where there is plenty of food. Look for shallow water near shore at low tide to determine where crabs are hiding. Pray Areas. areas with lots of small creatures like fish, shrimp, or other invertebrates are often where blue crabs go to feed. 
If you see a lot of activity from these creatures, chances of blue crabs are nearby. Use fresh bait. Blue crabs are strongly attracted to the smell of fresh bait, especially fish and chicken. To increase your chances of catching a crab, make sure your bait is fresh and smells appealing. Choose the right time. Blue crab activity is usually strongest in the early morning and late afternoon. Catching crabs at these times will be more effective. Be patient and careful. Catching blue crabs requires patience. Sometimes you need to leave the trap in the water for several hours or even overnight. When pulling the trap or rope up, do so slowly and carefully so that the crabs do not fall out. Do not litter. When participating in crabbing activities, keep the environment clean by not littering and collecting everything you bring with you. Release baby crabs and mothers. To maintain the blue crab population, release the very young crabs and the female crabs that are carrying eggs. This helps protect the blue crab resource for the future. Use environmentally friendly traps. Choose traps that do not harm other creatures and do not pollute the water. Fun activities. Catching blue crabs is an ideal activity for families and children. It not only brings joy but also helps people learn more about the marine environment and biology. Picnic. You can combine crab catching with a picnic, enjoy the fresh air and organize a small barbecue party with delicious fresh blue crabs. Education. Teach children about the crab catching process, how to identify adult crabs, and the importance of protecting the marine environment. This is a great opportunity to bond with family and educate children about nature. On-site processing, after catching crabs, you can process them right on the spot with simple dishes such as steamed crabs, grilled crabs, or salt-roasted crabs. The fresh taste and the results of your efforts will surely satisfy you. Keep memories, don't forget to take photos and record happy moments with family and friends during the crab catching process. These memories will be memorable experiences in life. Catching blue crabs is not only a recreational activity but also a way to connect with nature, learn and enjoy delicious dishes from the sea. With the above techniques and tips, you will have a great experience when participating in this activity on the east coast of the United States. Keeping crabs alive. To keep crabs alive after catching them, place them in a bucket or box containing salt water, diluted seawater, or ice. Avoid Avoid using fresh water as it can kill the crabs. Humidity. Make sure the crab container has the right humidity. 
Do not let the crabs dry out as this can cause stress and cause the crabs to die quickly. Do not hit the crabs. Crabs should be handled gently to avoid injuring them. Strong impacts can shock the crabs and cause them to die prematurely. Crab soup. Blue crab soup is a popular and delicious dish, often prepared with chicken or fish broth, vegetables, and spices. Steamed crabs. Steaming blue crabs with a little salt and pepper is the simplest way to enjoy the natural sweetness of crabs. Grilled crab. Blue crabs can be grilled with spices like garlic, butter, and lemon to create a delicious and flavorful dish. Salt roasted crab. A staple of many cultures, salt roasted blue crabs are delicious with a crunchy layer of spices. Local culture. In many areas like Maryland, blue crabs are an important part of the culinary culture and are often featured in local so festivals and community line. events. Right? I don't have to run over your line. But we got them. You know, when you're running your trout line, you want to keep it in the middle. Fishing history, blue crab fishing has been a part of coastal fishing traditions in the United States, with many techniques and methods passed down from generation to generation. Crab traps, choose traps that are the right size and style for the type of crab you want to catch. Traps with multiple compartments or different styles may provide better results. Ropes and nets, if using ropes or nets to catch crabs, make sure they're durable and able to withstand the weight of the blue crabs. Crabs falling out of traps. Make sure your traps are well built and check them regularly to avoid crabs falling out. Early death. If crabs die early, it may be due to water is not salty enough, lacks oxygen, or is not at the right temperature. Ensure proper storage conditions to keep the crabs alive longer. Commercial fishing. Many people fish for blue crabs for a living. They use specialized equipment and advanced techniques to harvest blue crabs efficiently. Research and conservation. Research and conservation organizations often work to protect and maintain blue crab populations, studying the effects of fishing activities on the marine environment and ecosystems. Boat rentals. You can rent a boat or join a crabbing tour, where guides will help you learn effective crabbing techniques and methods. Planning your trip. If you are organizing your own trip, carefully plan your equipment, methods, and locations to ensure a successful trip. Catching blue crabs is not only a fun experience, but also provides many opportunities to learn about the marine environment and marine life. Hopefully the above information will help you have a successful crab catching trip and enjoy great dishes from blue crab.